Hey guys, it's Anthony Super Service. I got a Habe's truck here, excursion. It's a bad son of a gun, it's nice. Going in for upgrades, it is an 03, and we're doing, uh, let's see, everything we normally do. Haven't gotten to the whole frame yet. I uh, just wanted to hurry up and get the engine out. It looks pretty good back here though. You know, all new. It'll look all new here soon. But, massive freaking problems. Watch your uh, fill tube, guys. That one's, you can see it. It's kind of kink. We're going to replace that and put something different in. But, we have massive issues. Going in for oil leak and possibly a, just a, a refresh. Let me turn the light on. Cylinders don't look bad. I haven't scraped the carbon away. There could be a ridge there. Uh, I don't know, man. There, there could be. If you look, I mean, the cross ashing is still there, so I, it's probably good. Look how good that looks. This is a 170,000 mile truck. They do not look bad. Uh, but when I was taking the flex plate off, I was looking at it, and I really thought I felt some in play. But I just dismissed it. I was like, well, maybe I was just uh, seeing a mirage or something. You can kind of see a little little bit of discoloration right at the top of the ridge, right there. Not the carbon ring, but above it. See how it's kind of faded a little bit, kind of looks foggy. Same with that one. Kind of worries me a little bit. But, yeah, I thought I had some in-flight. Get the can off. That was laying down in here. It was in the pan. When we flipped it over, it fell. You know, obviously, it was laying down in the pan. Not sure what all we're going to find in the pickup tube. But anybody know what that is? I'll give you two seconds. Okay, five seconds. Anybody know? When I saw that, it made me instantly think about the in play that I thought I felt on the, uh, uh, on the crankshaft. I thought I saw it move, but I was like, well, huh. I knew we was yanking it all the way down, so it doesn't really matter. But, give me an orange one. Check this out. We, I, I, I don't know how, I mean, what sucks is, well, here we go, let's start right here. Right here, watch the crank. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. In play is good that way, now watch. Go right here. Did you see it? That's got like 125,000 crankshaft in play. Look at that. That is a thrust bearing, main crankshaft thrust bearing. Um, holy shit. Her crap, I mean. Um, that means the crankshaft is trash. Well, we'll see, but I mean, I do not go too lightly when it comes to, uh, I don't know if you can see that. See it moving? Crankshaft in play. Wonderful. So we're gonna yank it back down and yank it all the way down and we'll see, hopefully. I mean, there's no way that this came out without doing damage to the crank. So this right here, we're definitely going to have to uh, look at, you know, I mean, inspect that because, oh my God, I don't know. I mean, we're just going to have to see how chewed up the crankshaft is around the thrust bearing, but yeah, bummer, freaking drag. That was a drag, but thought I'd upload it because, uh, yeah, this, this thing ran. It ran pretty freaking good. But obviously it was, its clock was ticking. Whatever caused that to happen, I have no idea. We'll find out. All right, guys, have a good day.